Hello everybody and welcome back to the world's worst let's play of Jumpstart 3rd grade. Okay, let's get moving or Polly will be one step ahead of us. Bruh, you messed up my intro to Jumpstart Adventures 3rd grade Mystery Mountain. I, I think I said that wrong again. It's fine. Hey, look at all these spots. We got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 17 more. That doesn't seem right. 5, 10, 15. Just kidding. We got 17 more of these. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Wow. Select another question so we can save another robot. Okay. Um, I'm really feeling chewing gum. As everyone knows, you can't blow decent bubbles with regular chewing gum. So I think this is the bubble bot. That's because bubble gum has more of the stuff bubble bot looks awesome. Gum chewing. Just because it looks like it a weird prototype of the Michelin gum. man. And that lets you blow big bubbles. Oh, but don't you try it in my class. What was the first chewing gum made from? <laughs> I'd love it if Rubber. the whole world popped super glue into their mouths and started to chew. That would I'd not... be the only one left who could talk. Yeah, that wouldn't everyone go well. would have to listen to me. Why would you say that as your answer? Well, Polly, you've done it again. That's exactly right. The world's first chewing gum was made with super glue. That would not go well oh, at all. Oh, great. That's all the world needs. Yeah. Everybody's mouth glued shut except for Polly. That wouldn't go well at all. If it were the other way around, I'd be tempted to leave her be. But as it is, eardrums around the globe are depending on us. Yeah. Click on the inventory button to put away the tra- Hey, I'll need some silence while I try to sense this- Everyone out. shut up. Nope. Out of luck. It's cool. Quiet now. I'm gonna sense out this area. Just the bouncy game. I'm picking up a clue reading in the professor's biosphere. There's also a mission clue in the shrinking machine room. Dang. We're gonna click on this frog real quick. Amazing. So glad Here I did that. Are. Thanks Back to eat. That's let me know if you need Look at that lemon. My darling Look at that heckin' lemon. I love that lemon. That yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. So I hit a mission clue Look at him. Specimens. Just Still, giant you'll lemon. Never find it unless you can figure out this hint. <laughs> Ever wonder why Eggrat has that flower sticking out of a hole in his head? It keeps the hot air from escaping. <laughs> Speaking of flowers, find the flower that people like to eat. The flower Sunflower. Makes me look rather stylish, don't you think? There's literally only one flower up there. So that could have been a little more ugly. difficult. That's French, you know. I'm gonna be honest. So let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, are you joking me? This one's gonna take forever. Yo, this is gonna be tough. This one might actually be a legit challenge if this does not land just the right way. Stay up there, hit more up there, please. I do not, I do not wanna have to get you back up there a whole bunch. Just stay up there. Bolly, stay up there. Get up, no, Botley. All right, there we are. Get up in there, get up in there, yeah. Hit it again. Do it again. Do, do, it some, do it some more. Yeah, get in there. Hit it again. Boom, baby. Nope, not there. I guess we'll have to go back to the shrinking machine and try again. Click anywhere. What? I guess we chose the wrong specimen. Let's try. I. Okay. Um. Wheat. Wheat is a type of grass. As a grass. Wheat, sunflower. The sunflower is a. It's these are delicious to eat. That looks like a blazing sun. It can grow as broccoli. This green vegetable is actually a flower. The little green tufts people eat for dinner are the flowering parts of the broccoli plant. Most people don't realize that when they are eating broccoli, they are eating flowers. Oh, my. I didn't know that. I learned today. I learned. Happy See this face? This is the face of learning. That broccoli is a flower, and I shouldn't just assume that it was the sub. I don't. Oh, no. This one is horrible. 
We got stuck forever on this one last time. And I was so confident in my last answer that now I feel extra punished. Hello, pupper. Hi. Do you have to go outside? Oh, jeez. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hi, pup. I know. We're gonna be stuck up here for a minute. I'll just let that ride. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take a death. It, it's it's gonna be a hot minute. I gotta. Whoa. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding. We might be fine. We might be, okay. Okay. I can't pause. The, I got. I gotta take the L. I gotta take the L for the dog. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'll be right back. You know, I'm not going to lie. I really thought I was just going to be bouncing when I got back. Um, <sighs> and I forgot my timer was still running, so I have no idea how long this episode's going to be now. It's fine. These ones don't really matter so much for a timer anyway, because I just play until I get done. So, like, probably don't even need the timer. But, like, it's more fun for me to know how long these take. And my wife is home again. She went to do other things after the kids went to bed so she's back now oh and the dog is going ballistic so that's fun can you get in that portal please in the in the in the portal in the portal in the portal in the portal please please in the portal deport I hate this map this one is this a map? Level? Get in there. Oh my gosh, the trampoline! Ah! I hate it. I hate it so much. I just... Just get it. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. Why are you like this, though? Eh, if only I kept that up. Okay, here we go. We're good. If I can keep this up, we're gonna break through and we're gonna... We're gonna do great. Great things will happen. As long as we don't get stuck. As long as we don't get stuck. We're doing great. We're not, we're not getting stuck. It's doing what I need it to do. And I am paying attention. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna bop right back in. Just kidding. Right back in. Here we go. Okay, well, easy come, easy go, I suppose. All right. All right, get in there, sir. That's not right. Get it. Get. Botley. Thank you. And get back in. We've got this down to a science at this point. Just kidding. There is no science here. This is all a kid's game. For f oh, I only have one life left. Just oh, no. It's really going to come to. Oh! My mouse didn't wasn't there. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Now this game just got really serious and thank goodness those guys are there. To just prevent me from getting caught in a loop. My gracious. I only got No! I got to do everything over again. Get me out of here before I disintegrate. Click on the back button. I'll be back. Ah, finally. My gracious. Uh. That's it. Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then on to complete this mission. Is that a fish calendar? What is on that? Oh, it's Botley. Okay, but in my defense, it looks like like a okay. weird angler fish All going on. The poly hit a mission clue uh, in the professor's biosphere. Oh, uh, from out of the frying pan and into the fire, man. Oh, yes. And I'll have you know, that little Botley guy, this little turd biscuit. Not once, not twice, but like okay. seven times popped out of those black, those black balls of death. He ain't supposed to do that, and he did it so many times. It was very, very annoying. It was not a good time for me. And we're doing this one again. This is like three for three in a row on doing this thing. My gracious. Why, though? Just because I'm getting better doesn't mean I want to do this one over and over again. That is... Absolutely false information. False propaganda. 
Get in that you tunnel. Like this question. It's so easy. Which plant is smallest? A mango tree? Lichen? Or a barrel? I'm gonna have to go with lichen, but I think that means that we're in the jungle? I don't know, do lichens grow in the jungle? Sound off in the comments below. Here's a scary question. Scary. Which animal dives into a spiral to escape being eaten by bats? Probably a moth. Because I don't think moth. vultures deal. You got one are right. eaten by bats. Although that would be incredible to watch. That would be absolutely wild. Luna, give me just a second. I'll let you out of our room. I had an easy question for you, but I forgot it. Try this one instead. Which bright blue flower survives among craggy rocks? The sunflower, the daisy, or the forget-me-not? Not gonna lie, I forgot that she verbally asks a question and not uh, uh, written down. Luna, the dog, literally just begged to get out. I open the door, she walks out, I sit back down, and she just busts right through the door. Like, why would you do that? I'm just gonna guess the forget-me-not. Yeah, so right. yeah, I remember that from my childhood being a lot of answer, and I'm like, what the heck is that thing? It's a flower. And it pops up in the spring or something like that. And that might exactly be what she just said, and I'm just repeating what she said, but I wasn't there for it. I was letting a dog Stand out that wanted immediately back in. This question. Which animal has ears on its belly? A termite, a dolphin, a grasshopper? I think it's actually a dolphin. No, no, too bad. Why did I think it's a dolphin? Dolphins don't live in the jungle. That was silly of me. There's a time limit on but this now question. I want to know the answer to that. 100 million years starting now. What do you call a rock indented with a footprint from a woolly mammoth? A track? A dinosaur? A fossil? Well, that could be a fossil or a track, so I'm gonna go with track. Sorry, but that's wrong. That is a trick question, Polly, and I don't appreciate it. Can this we go back nice to the belly button? Easy question to help the belly ears? Ice. Guess what a huge mass of slowly moving ice and snow is called. Well, that's called a glacier. An avalanche, a glacier, or a blizzard? Big deal, you got one right. Yeah, one of three. Every dog has his day. I don't know where we're going, because I don't think glaciers are in the... Oh, it's probably the mountains, now that I think about it. Because that's also a region. It's a biosphere. Which animal has an egg tooth for chipping its way out of its shell? That's a bird. Ready to hatch. I learned that a on snake, uh, a Amazing Animals. A with a little Just a lizard named guess. Henry. Showed my kids that one too, and they seem to like it a lot. Not as much as me as a kid, because I was a weird kid. But you know, I would literally go to the library and just stockpile all the VHS that they had of it. And I'm talking like 10. Which doesn't seem like a lot until you realize VHS were not are not like small things. Like they're they're pretty hefty. So you get a stack of ten of them suckers in like the plastic casings and you got yourself a good pile. And I would sit and watch them all, and they were like half an hour each, so like plenty of time spent on them. Great. You Let me tell you, there are no mission love animals, this. always have. Good slide in. Please give me the art gallery. I'm, I'm actually begging you. <laughs> okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the kitchen. Why? Also a mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. Ugh. That's the art gallery. That's not the art gallery I want. And the kitchen again. Feel like browsing through the virtual Why? Collection? Just click on the machine. Or I am, Botley. Like I am. Animal. You're just not letting me go. Thank you. Good work, Snap. I have now to be. Now you just have to figure out which of Daddy's great works I ah, the mission geez. clue in. We need a clue. You might as well just give up right now, Rotley. After all, I'm wrapping up the floor with you. Polly's the one who's all washed up. I know what she's talking about. We have a fine example of a floor decoration made from pieces of tile. Well, that's we new, at least. The right work of art to collect. So, let's, uh, landscape? I don't think so. Uh, still life? No. Art is decoration. This is an example of a typical American quilt. 
Quilts were often made by groups of women in this no. mosaic of Alexander the Great. That one. Was made by gluing pieces of tile onto yeah, the floor. Yeah, that's the one. Mosaics are an ancient form of painting with pieces of tile. In this case, pieces of colored tile were glued together in the shape of Alexander the Great. They're so in order tiny. To decorate a floor. Cool. Okay, since you're so Nailed smart, it. let's see you solve this. You didn't think I was going to let you off that easily, did Of you? course not, Polly. There she goes again. You've played this puzzle before, so you should have uh, no trouble this time around. Yeah, you'd think. Polly put some of her father's best pieces you from ancient would Greece think. into this puzzle. When you put it together, you'll um, see works of art thousands of years old. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. On this guy. And that. Mount Olympus, bronze coin, maybe? Uh, marble. Please stop. Uh, Spartans, Athens. <sighs> Let's go with that one. Marble statue, that makes sense. Yep. Um. Athens, Warriors and Spartans, Spartans, Warriors, yeah, yeah, uh, that obviously needs to get swapped with that, because it's what makes sense, grape leaves, and we got mosaic tiles, we're doing great, my face is very warm, uh, that one and that one, why would I do that, this makes more sense, Homer the Poet, and Panthenon Temple, Plato Philosopher, Olympic Sports. We're doing great. Completely by accident, but we are doing things. That was accidental. Let's go there. Uh, fishing Boat, Athens Democracy, Olive Branch, Pottery Vase, Parthenon Temple, and Aphrodite Goddess. Nailed it, baby. We're doing awesome. Great job. Bingo. Ali whoops hey, just what? there to the kitchen again to do more math and things the door's still locked it's great but you'll have no trouble getting the combination hurry 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 I'm growing weak bruh we have fed you three times today already like you don't need more food bro you're good six nine and eleven Send it, baby. Give me the minus. Give me the subtraction. You got the first Please, give me go. the subtraction. Okay. Four. Now you um. The third column from the right. On this it's going to be three. Second column from the right. No. The tens place. Uh, I don't think that yeah, I know. I need to. Third column from the right. I need to steal. Hundreds place. A one in this column stands for one hundred. The third. Yeah, I need third, to steal. Third, How do I steal? I need to uh -uh. steal. Try again. Oh, I'm so stupid. Zero my seven minus zero is seven. I apologize, everybody. I'm an idiot. I was doing something very different. I don't know what I was doing to my brain. That All was right, you got two that was wild. One more. Don't drink in math, kids. It's not worth it. Uh oh. I can just keep clicking it, huh? Why ain't that nifty? Six times five is thirty. You multiply two. Six now times nine. One's place has been carried over to the tens place. Forty-eight. Nope, that's not right. Just kidding, it's 54. Uh, I don't think that... Uh, uh, uh again. plus the 3 is 57. And that one... Uh, hold up. Okay, let me actually think about this for a second. 36, 42, 48. Plus 5. 53. Nope. Uh-uh. Try again. Six times eight. <laughs> it's 48. It's 
42 plus 6 right yeah 36 42 48 49 50 51 52 53 it's 53. Right. Why did you make no, me uh, so? I don't think that number. Uh, uh, I don't think that. Uh, uh, Bruh. Try again. What? This game, dude. It made me think I was going crazy, and I knew the you answer the it. whole time. I knew Polly couldn't keep us out. What the Why heck? Shut it, Motley. Spark plugs, cheese, salt, and butter. That's carrot juice. I don't want carrot juice. That is not at all what we need. Spark plugs. Seven and a half cups this time. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Five, six, and seven and a half. That's cream, which is great if you want cream. But we don't want cream. We need uh, cheese, salt, and butter. As one does with their spark plugs. Wow, no more items again, huh? Okay. Okay, game, I see your game. <gasps> Is anything coming? Melted cheese, 44. Okay, sorry. We're going to do that and that. And then we're gonna do that and not that that's not what we want we want this one boom uh, salt oh lots of salt we're gonna kill this man with salt holy cow why wow, crap it crap it all Good thing we're running out of time dude so I don't want this to come back around shush botley we got to hurry up on this now. I done messed up. And we're going to pop, 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 pop. We messed it up. Dang it all. We're going to miss the peanut butter. Ah, jeez. Well, we got to wait for the salt to come back around now because we done did all that the wrong way. I don't need more cheese. I need more salt. We have to kill this man with salt. I don't need vitamin E, I need salt. The bowl's moving so fast. We're never gonna make it. I don't need B12, I need salt. Bring me the salt, bro. This episode's going way longer than I intended. Now, liver, I need salt. Why won't you give me salt? This is probably going to be the last episode of the night because I'm gone. Salt! Alrighty, here we go. Uh huh. We're going to bump. 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 I feel like I could probably add. Mm -mm, I cannot. This takes forever. I feel like I did this the wrong way. Because, like, there's definitely supposed to be... Do not make me do this salt again. No. 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 <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yo, bring that salt back, though. Not the peanut butter. I'm good on peanut butter. I'm good on the peanut butter. Yet. I on know. The switch to continue preparing Mort's meal. Stop talking. I need salt. <sighs> this salt is going to be the death of me. I don't need spark plugs. I'm good. I'm good on the spark plugs, please. No, I don't need the melted cheese. Can I even do this right? Because that's going to be, what, 95? Gosh, you have to do that so many times. Why did, Why is this the number they chose? That's wild to me. Because this takes literally forever. Holy cow. That was absolutely mind-numbing. I hated that. I hate salt. Salt's dumb. I don't like salt.
I'm salty. Salty for salt. Ah, sweet nectar. All right, you've won, and now maybe he'll shut up. Thank you so much, and please. He's so this rude. You. Like, why is he so rude about it? Okay, stash that coal in. Uh oh, we've run out of energy. Oh, good, more math, because everybody loves math so much that we get to do a whole episode dedicated to math. And I'm just so happy about all the math we get to do. Aren't you, aren't you happy about all the math? At least it's division by four. They took pity on me. We need more juice. <laughs> just put the correct batteries in place. Uh, yeah, they're like, yeah, let's, let's cut them a break. Wait, 16 divided by four is four. <laughs> four times eight is not. Four times eight is 28. Four times 12 is 48. Four times three is 12. Four times six is 24. Four, four, why am I stupid? Four and four, it's obviously 32. I don't know why I always forget that. Way to go, you've completed the first ring, but you gotta hurry. You still have to get through the second ring. Of course I do. Why would I not? Um, 44. Four times nine is obviously 30, wait, yeah, 36. <laughs> uh, I'm special boy. 20, 30, wait. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Is this music always this peaceful? This is definitely not the music I was playing before. This is like a very jazzy, not at all math tune that I thought it was gonna be. That's weird. Wow, that was fast. That's Look, nice. Everything we, we should go to the time machine. We made it. It's very nice sounding music. Thank you. Thank you, uh, math puzzle, for giving me a nice jazzy tune to relax to for a bit before I finish my drink and get this bot back from the past. You're tuned in to Hollywood Squares, the game show that tests whether you're qualified to stop Holly from turning history into her story. I don't know what was at the bottom of that drink, but it was chunky. From somewhere in time. And that's Your concerning. Clue is a microwave oven. There was nothing chunky and in that drink. Tell you what Polly has cooking. Microwave eh. ovens were invented by accident. In 1946, a scientist named Perry Spencer was experimenting with a form of energy called microwaves. Of course. All of a sudden, a mysterious thing happened to the candy bar in his pocket. What happened to the it candy melted. bar in Perry Spencer's pocket? That's right. Holy cow, I have Perry to pee Spencer after this episode. Microwaves and then cook things my gracious. The microwaves melted a candy Going bar nuts in his over pocket. here. When something melts, it turns into a liquid. Solid. What was a liquid before it melted? Good. When a solid chocolate bar melts, it turns into liquid chocolate sauce. Yeah. Yum. Which of the following is a solid? Gum. That's correct. Chewing gum is soft enough to chew, but it's not a liquid <sighs> like water. Right. Chewing gum is what this mission is all about. Of course. Great job. So we need to go back in time to when gum was first chewed. Yep. Bubble butt. Here we come. Bubble bar. The bubbliest boy. Your second clue is a maple leaf. And it will tell you where chewing gum was invented. This will leaf it? comes from the sugar maple. The sugar maple is the tree that gives us oh, maple oh, oh, oh. syrup. Love it. Every autumn, the leaves from the sugar maple turn bright yellow and red. Yeah, like right the now. The sugar maple leaf appears on the flag of the second largest country in the world. Really? Is that it's Canada, country? but I didn't know it was the second largest country in the world. Yes, That's wild indeed. to me. Canada is the second largest country in terms of land, but in not terms? in terms of people. So which one's the Canada biggest, Russia or China? Is located That's on wild. What continent? 
North America. Correct. I'm not going to be stupid this time. Located on the continent of North America. Right up it above sits us. It's the northern border of its neighbor and ally, the United States of America. Yeah. Which of the following countries is also located Either in the United America? States or Mexico? Muy yeah. bien. Muy Mexico bien. is the North Mexico. American country to the south of the United States. You send me messages capital, like, Mexico oh my city gosh. is the largest city in the world. Mexico is also the place where chewing gum wow. was invented. These people Wait, we're halfway on at our work way to Mexico. We just need that to find swear they can't just eat an apple where? like a normal adult. They have to cut it into slices, the but then they make fun of me for drinking a whole milk with the pizza. Pine tree like, will tell you who invented chewing absolutely gum. wild. Pine trees are called evergreens because their leaves are always bonkers. green. Let me tell you. Unlike maple leaves, they Try don't it. change color. Try it. Slice in the pizza fall. with a glass of milk. Not at the There's same time. Don't be that dipping weirdo. That's 4, Just like years old. eat the pizza and take Max a drink of milk. That's all. It's, it's good. Uh, I don't know what's 46. Hundred years old, probably the uh, no, no, correct. Apparently, it's the pyramid of Egypt. I that thought that was way older. Was planted when Egypt was one My of the bad. largest and richest civilizations the world has ever known. It took 20 years <sighs> and two million enormous blocks of stone to build the it was a tomb, right? Egypt, what was it built for? A tomb, a tomb. Great. The pyramids of Egypt were tombs. It's Tombe. They were filled with gold and jewelry for the king to use. And dead and cats. To the afterlife. Don't forget the dead cats. Which ancient American culture built pyramids. Egypt. My oh Mayan, that's correct. Ha <laughs> ha. Like the Egyptians, the Mayans built pyramids. They also invented Like in Peru. Gum. Cool. We're getting closer Those might have been the Aztecs. I don't remember that much. I'm so sorry. Invented chewing gum, but when did they do it? Your fourth clue is a calendar. Of course. It will help you figure out when in history chewing gum was invented. Ah. When people first began to grow crops, yes. they started counting the number of days between one planting time and the next. By counting the days, the first calendars were created. The first calendar was invented by a people who lived along the Nile River in Africa. Who were those people? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. The Nile is a river the Egyptians in were obviously living in Amer uh, Africa. The Nile overflowed each year before planting time. I don't know why I didn't think that first. The days between each flood and came up with the world's first calendar. The ancient Egyptians thought there were 365 days in the year. How many days does a year really have? Uh, Each that's year right, because there's a leap year. 365 and a quarter days long. Every four years, the Egyptians had an extra day on their hands that they couldn't explain. Absolutely the wild. The leap year was invented later on to fix this problem. Crazy to me. A leap year with 366 days was invented in 46 BC by Julius Caesar in ancient Rome. Which of the following years had 366 days? Uh... Within 366 days. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with 4,000. No, no, great. What job. is that? I don't know what that 400 means. 400 was a leap year. It was also approximately the year chewing gum was invented. So hear me out. Mayans. I didn't pick it because it didn't have BC, but the other two did. Why did you not put BC on that? But you don't. Get... That's confusing. I didn't like that. They're using tricky questions. Tricky, tricky. Click on me when you're ready to go. It's a far way to go to freshen your breath. But we're off to Mexico. A Mayan woman is cooking up a Mexico. First chewing gum. Yeah. Let's go glue her mouth shut. What's that bubble butt up to? Look at that guy. Oh, no. Living his He's best life. Super glue into that pot of chewing gum. Heck yeah, dude. Watch out, Mayan lady. Watch out. 
He's so happy too. He's like, yeah, I did it. Press the recall button. Let's hope it's not too late to save the world from this sticky situation. Don't worry, Bubble Bot. You're cool in my book. Look at that face. Look at that face. How can you not love him? He's so cool. He's the coolest guy. For sure, a fave of mine. <laughs> Press the back button. You know it, buddy. Hey. Get out of here with all the Things are looking crap. Up here. We've added another robot to the Yeah, roost. only you 16 more to go. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many. Oh, Dotley. Dotley. You do have a hero complex, don't you? Always wanting to save the world. Just to make you happy, the next mission will be easy. Only harder. 15 more. I'm, I can't count. No time to pat ourselves on the back. No time at all because this episode so is robot. over and we're not coming back until later in my life. That's not right now because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments below how much you're loving this series because clearly y'all love it for some reason. I don't know it. I don't get it either. It's it's whatever. But I give the people what they want. So keep enjoying and I'll keep making them, darn it. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.